mid-May and that's spring is well underway although it's nothing like as well underway as it was last year and we're making this video to give you an idea of the comparisons between two different years and how much difference the weather makes because I've been getting comments from people who are starting out this year for the very first time gardening and they're dismayed by the at least in, in our part of the world actually in much of the Northern Hemisphere from what I hear, by the slowness of growth this year, 2021. And they've never, if they've never gardened before, it's like, you know, oh, what's happening? Oh, things, things aren't working. But it's not that things aren't working. You know, the soil could be good, your planting could be correct. But if the temperatures in particular are not there, then growth will be slower. So we've got footage from the same plantings made at the same time from 2020, last year, and we're juxtaposing them here to give you some ideas of the comparisons. And so if you, if you are starting out this year, don't be discouraged. Uh, one has to hope that the weather will warm up soon. I have to say I'm not that hopeful actually, but you have to hope. So for example, peas, the, these is a variety of tall pea. They, all being well, they go up to as tall as me uh, or even higher, two meters over six feet. And they were sown mid-March, transplanted here early April. So that's six weeks ago. And they had fleece over, <laughs> thank goodness. But in April this year, we had incredible run of frost. We had 16 nights of frost. And the average nighttime temperature was below freezing in April. I mean, for us, that's not quite unheard of. It's very unusual. But it's a really graphic demonstration. Things grew very slowly. Even though the days were not always quite so cold, but they were still cool. But if you have even nice days sometimes, you know, if you're the kind of person who gets up late, it's sunny, nice day, yeah, you think, yeah, it's all good. But if the night's freezing, that really slows down the growth. And we've seen it very graphically this year. So these peas are here and last year they were back up here at this time. <laughs> Just incredible. And over there we've got onions and broad beans, for example, which likewise the, the onions have probably about one third of the growth they've put on so far. What this will mean in terms of eventual harvest, it's still too early to say because it depends what the weather will do. Uh, but there are risks with, when growth gets off to a slow start like this, uh, for example, there's a disease called annual mildew, which comes in um, during June normally when it's cool and damp. Uh, oh, I just have a feeling this could be the year and if so, we could be in a bit of trouble because as well as being cool, it's now very damp. May's been pretty wet so far and that means lack of sun, it's gray all the time. We've, we've had to sneak out very early in the morning to get this video before the, the showers begin again. Uh, the broad beans over there, um, I actually lost my overwintered beans because winter was not so kind this year and those were sown in January and then transplanted early March. Again, fleece over. The fleece is really helping. Uh, but the broad beans, last year we were almost picking pods at this time and, and at, at this point this year they're, they're just flowering. The fleece I've been mentioning is the example of it here, for example, over cauliflowers, and these cauliflowers have been in the ground for about a month, uh, so they're not a, a, a full-on early planting, and they're doing okay, and they're just a bit behind. And likewise, the broccoli there, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's actually quite enjoying the wet weather. So <laughs> there are some, some, not exactly gains, but actually one crop that really has done well is the purple sprouting broccoli here, which was sown last June, transplanted July and then has been cropping since late March and nearly two months that's a much longer period of cropping than usual really nice harvest thanks to the weather not getting hot too quickly so that's where it can be good to have a range of plantings and we can look at some more over here on my trial beds. The two trial beds here no dig and dig. We plant the same vegetables every year. And so there's really interesting like for like comparisons with weather being one of the main variables. And the potatoes there, <laughs> dramatic difference. That the, They were planted at the same time, roughly the middle of March. And growth has just been really slow. And compared to last year when they were 
probably about three times the size. We did then have, even last year we had a late frost at the time of the Ice Saints, which is pretty classic leading up to the middle of May. And that's why both times we got quite browned tips of the plants, but they're still growing, they'll recover. But this year the frosts were a little bit earlier. Uh, we had our last frost 7th of May, and since then it has not been frosty, but it has not been warm either, so the growth is just chugging along quite slowly. So that's first early potatoes, and normally I'd reckon to get harvest around, it's the first harvest around the middle of June, so that's about four weeks from now. Ah, we'll see, it's going to be interesting. And onions here, same story, multi sown onions, actually and shallots as well. Interesting, the shallots are doing better than the onions. Uh, so again, we'll see what happens going forwards. Lettuce have been one vegetable which are slightly faster this year, surprised me. They clearly do not mind the cool conditions, I actually even quite like them. You know, maybe this is going to be a, a lettuce summer, <laughs> lettuce rather than tomatoes. But we're harvesting every week and the harvest this year have been certainly no less, if anything, slightly higher than last year. Intriguing that they quite like the moisture levels. So do spinach, really. But that's intrigued me that this year the spinach harvest from that row, one row, which I do every year, have been slightly down on last year. They're one kilo compared to two kilos uh, in 2020. So, you know, that is an indication of, of the relative coolness. Going forward, <laughs> less hope for some warmth. We'll see. We might revisit this theme uh, maybe either in a month or even in, in July because the weather clearly makes a huge difference to growth and for those of you starting out this year, don't despair, <laughs> hang in there. I mean there's still uses for fleece. Normally at this time of year I would not be using fleece anymore because it's too hot. Uh, but there for example in, in front of me, we, this week we just planted transplanted celery and celeriac as two month old um, transplants and we put fleece over them because I'm you know I'm I can see how much difference that is making even now and it's starting to rain again as we finish this video so lack of sunshine today I think again and um, let's hope for better things going forward so okay.